open it all and it's exclusively right here. Today on The Grid, it is our special holiday gear guide. Eric Kuhn is joining me. We've got stocking stuffers. We've got gifts for all the photographers on your holiday gift list. And it all starts in just 60 seconds. The Grid is brought to you by Tamron. Check out their 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens. It's for Sony full frame mirrorless. It's awesome. Go to tamron-usa.com. And Westcott, check out their new Rapid Box Switch. It has nine light modifiers and 13 quick swap light inserts. Check it out right now at fjwestcott.com. And Profoto, the light shaping company. Check out the Profoto B1X. Power in all the right places. Go to profoto.com slash US. And Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. One. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Whoops, whoops. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome to The Grid. My name is Scott Kelby. Joining me today, Mr. Eric Kuna. Hey, Scott. How's it going? It is going excellent, Mr. Kuna. Hey, I didn't, I didn't get to talk to you about this off the air, but you know you're going to have to show some rocket pictures, right? Um, okay. So he did it, uh, you know, Eric is a rocket photographer who shoots for magazines and for, mm -hmm. like, NASA and people like that, people that shoot rockets. Anyway, uh, he got to shoot the rocket launch last week, and he got some amazing pictures, and I didn't tell him he was going to have to show them, so I'm just putting you on the spot. All so. right. Anyway, we're glad you're here. Today is our Holiday Gear Guide Live, so we're going to share some of our very favorite holiday gift ideas and that's what Always the whole show is talking about talking about gear now while eric and i are going to be sharing our favorite gifts we want you guys to be able to share gifts so if there's something mm -hmm. that you bought for somebody that you know that they love or it's a lot of fun or it's good or something like that please let us know we would love 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 to know about it so glad you're here we're gonna have fun christina is on the uh on the moderation, and she's all head set it up. She's taking your questions, your comments, your shout outs, whatever you got. Uh, we are running a skeleton crew today because tomorrow here in the US is Thanksgiving. And uh, Thanksgiving, for those of you who are not in the United States, it is uh, a day where we watch football, we give thanks for all the things that we are thankful for, and we eat an insane amount of food. Just ridiculous, crazy amount, and it starts with turkey, and then it leads to other things that are just unmentionable. But it is a really, really fun day, and it's always on a Thursday, and so we get Friday off, and so we'll be off on Friday, and we're off Saturday, and we're and off then Sunday. And there's just a lot of football. A lot of football, a lot of football. North American football. North American football. We've got the Iron Bowl, which is our team, the uh, our family team, the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide, Roll Tide. So we're excited about that. Ooh, everybody's here today, including David from the cold UK. Hey, David. Yeah, Deb, Deb from Friary, California. Hey, Aww. Deb. I hope you're all right. And look, we got Cheeky Nando saying rocket pictures with a cell phone, man. Yeah, I, I do have a picture of a guy taking pictures of a rocket. Yep, Deb says she loves your rocket pictures. Oh, and thanks. Then, and then Gordon, Gordon says, the rocket man, Eric Kuna. That's right, you are the rocket man. You're Back the real rocket bag. man. It's not Kim Jong-un. You are the real <laughs> rocket man. Uh -oh. Anyway. We're on a list now. Real quick, before we get to our <laughs> prizes, I mean, our, not our prizes. We do have prizes. We have gift, giveaways. But before we get to all that, we do, can we look at some rocket shots? So tell us yes. about the launch, and then we'll look at some real quick. Yeah. So the launch was last week? So the launch was last week. It's a SpaceX mission. So it was. Who were you shooting for? You were on um, assignment for who? Uh, so it was the a news agency in in Europe that I shoot for. Yep. Um, so I was with them and uh, covering the launch. And you have access, like you're putting cameras, yes. remotes, and stuff way so up this towards was the a, pad. Yeah, this was a we we shot uh, this one launched on uh, uh, Launch Complex 39A, which is the original Apollo mission, the original space shuttle mission, basically that pad where SpaceX leased that back from NASA. They have the lease on that. Um, so this was the first time, the cool thing with this one was, this is the first time they've actually got the pad to where all the space shuttle stuff has been removed, and now it's just 
the stuff that's going to be for the actual SpaceX missions to uh, send cool. astronauts back. So now they have the uh, crew access arm that swings in. Uh, ah. Of course, this wasn't for that. But, yeah, so. Um, um, well, let's see some shots. Let's see a few shots here. What do you got? Yeah, so there, that was uh, one of the shots. This one actually was with a platypod. You can see the foreground there is oh, yeah, really nice. close. Nice. That was with a platypod. That's that new arm like here you got the little access very arm nice. the tower is very clean now um you got uh that one that was a, a 90 degree from the pad you know got the water tower in there with it the little spacex water tower um that's a 45 degree angle shot you know from the pad got that access how many arm. remote cameras did you have set up so i had f on this one four Ooh, nice. Four. I, I went all in on the remote they, camera. They're triggered by sound? Correct. Yeah, so you have so sound triggers on them, and here's trigger. the rumbling, and it yep. starts firing. Um, that Look was my that. tight one. Ooh. You, know, you got the, uh, the, these are the uh, actual rain. Um, this shoots out a bunch of rain, or a bunch of water yeah. to suppress the sound. Um, so you got that. Um, that's a, the wider of that 45. That's that tighter one. Another one of that wide. And then, you know, what was cool is um, I actually also took a telephoto and did some stuff uh, north of there uh, at this place called Playa Linda Beach. It was about four miles from the pad. Yeah. And um, so I was, I was dialed in. I was shooting. So there were some people on a um, boardwalk about 100 yards from my boardwalk. Okay. So I wanted to frame them up in the shot. So I picked out this one guy that he was the only guy sitting above the horizon. He was kind of sitting there. And then... Um, so I'm watching, you know, I'm waiting for the launch. I got my headphones in, so I've got the dial-in number. I'm listening to the countdown. It hits about five, and this guy, five, yeah, five, the minute it hits five, three. he starts looking down at his phone, at his pictures, to kind of see, like, how his pictures. And then as he's going up, this is the shot, right? So there's the guy looking up at this rocket. There's a, ro hey, off there's a rocket right going. behind him. Oh. And he's looking down, chimping at the photos he was taking to Are see you what. Are kidding me? But it ended up being that, you know, then let's see. Um, well, anyways, I got some. Here it is right there. That He ended up looking up. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I had to zoom out a little bit because I was really in tight on that one. Hey, so. that's a that's pretty. He's That's a pretty good shot is like where he's standing is pretty good view of that pad. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's a it's a great location. If you're ever wanting to watch a launch, they're not that location isn't open all the time. Sometimes mm -hmm. NASA actually shuts it down. All right. Well, thank so. you for thank yeah, you yeah. very much yeah, for showing us. Cool. Hey, Tom wants to know how long did it take to get access to photograph the launches where the public is restricted? You have to be shooting for somebody, right? Uh, correct. Correct. Yeah. I mean, you can't just you go. Hey, just I, go um, I'd like to get up there close. It took a, a solid year of working yeah. at it. Yeah. The only solid way you year. could actually and get then a solid really year close. before that of just shooting you got to get a portfolio it's like anything it's like shooting sports you got to yeah. kind of shoot the high school and maybe you work at a college, college and then the it, college it's just like that you're kind of like working your way up working it up and then you finally get to the point where somebody um gets you credentialed just like oh shout out to mr terry white who said great shots eric oh thanks thanks terry and uh, michelle has a comment she says the last time i watched one of these me and my money were soon parted however i am loving my think tank turnstile 20 sling Come on, Michelle. Is that the greatest bag? Like, I use that bag all the time. I oh, love yeah. that. Like, that's... Eric and I... Think tank bags are the best. Eric saw me slinging that bag all over Austria mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> just yeah. recently. Well, it's great because it, uh, there's no resistance, right? So yeah. It's one of those where it just kind of spins on its own. No, she she says the sling. The, the oh, one I no, wear no. My... I thought you meant the no, roller no. bag. Oh, those are great. Oh, no, the sling, too. Yeah, we we have, we both have the sling. Let's get ready Let's get ready to get rid of more, some more of Michelle's money. Yeah. All right. I'm going to start off with a really good one. This is not a stocking stuffer unless you're stocking, unless you're mm -hmm. basically buying this for like a Wall Street hedge fund manager. But I've got such a great gift. It's so unexpected. And it comes in the most beautiful wooden box you've ever seen. <laughs> All right. This is, I have to read the exact name. It's the Tax Automatic Vintage Lens. Two, it is a camera-inspired watch. Now, when my daughter saw this at the house and she opened it, she goes, she slid it open like, ah. She goes, it looks like a camera. It looks like a lens. It is just the most beautifully crafted watch. It's got a little cover over it. And when you pop the top on it and open it up, I'm trying to pop the top here. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it is off. <laughs> Look at this. 
Can we get that? We can't get tight, can we? Well, you have it up on your screen, though. You can oh. bring it up tight. Yeah. So. Here. So Look up tight. There you go. <laughs> on Steve. my screen. Sorry. On this, there you go. So that's it up tight. Yeah. Looks so just like a can't. Is lens. that beautiful? And this outside rotates. Oh, it is just. It is just the most beautifully crafted. It just feels like money, and and it costs. But it is money, right? It's I mean, that's bucks. money. It's five hundred ninety-five dollars. So this is mm -hmm. not a stocking stuffer. This is the main present you're going to get somebody. But if you've got that, you know, pain management doctor on your holiday list, this or a would significant be, other that you know, you're trying to. You or a significant other you're trying to really woo. Them. Yeah. This would be very very nice. So it's the tax T A C S. The Tax Automatic Vintage Lens it is a camera-inspired watch, and it is just, I just love it. And it comes in such a beautifully handcrafted box. It's just like, ooh, what's inside? It's just, they did a beautiful job with this. So anyway, uh, where can you find it? You can find it, let's see, over at their website, which would be tax, T-A-C-S-image.com, and there it is right there. The awesome. automatic vintage lens, a watch with a heart that captures the soul of photography. The automatic vintage lens, too. Don't get the automatic vintage lens one. Because <laughs> you know it's the old one. You want a watch with a heart that captures the soul of photography. Well, speaking of capturing the soul. Hey, maybe... I said it was 600 You can get it for 550 <laughs> so, Well, I mean, that's... You know. That's still a pretty good price. Anyway, four or two. speaking of a pretty good price, I've got oh, something. Oh, he's got a good one. I've got something that brings it way back down. Right. Now, Eric turned way me on to Way back this. down to kind of like, oh, everybody just needs to buy one of these. And I, I right. had this with me in Austria, and I used it yes. exclusively, and it works So this is something so well. that I've been using for years. Um, and basically what it was is, and actually the the where I started using this was when I went to Canada with Remy, which you're going to yeah. to Canada with Remy. Uh, we were going off the grid. You know, you need something where you're not going to be plugging into wall chargers. And this little battery charger here will charge two of your uh, batteries right in it. So like so. for a Canon 5D Mark anything or Yeah, an or you can get them for the... Uh, the Nikon, Nikon the and the Sony. Yep, absolutely. And what's cool about it is it also has the USB cable built right in. So instead of having to uh, carry around a USB, an extra USB cable is right built right so into the you unit. You can charge your car, your off your car. Yeah, you anything that has plug? a USB. Anything that has a USB, so you can do it off of AC power, off your car, off your laptop. Yep. But here's what I like about this that Eric is not talking about. This particular one, and this one's from Power Yeah, Extra. Power Extra. Yeah. So here's what's so great about this one. In fact, I think I have a picture, a better a well, picture. Here, I got it, it up uh, on oh, my here screen. You go. Look, up, yeah. look on Eric's there. All right. So the thing about this one is, is it is it is less than the size of a Nikon or a Canon regular charger. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But it, it, it does two, two batteries at once, and it's also... It's so inexpensive, twenty six bucks. Well, that's actually twenty six bucks. Oh, wait, wait, with two batteries. With two batteries. Now, that's guys, with two batteries. Eric told me because a, a, a Canon battery for the camera that I use is sixty four dollars. These batteries are approximately eleven dollars a piece. Yeah, and you know what? They're actually everybody goes well. They can't be good batteries and stuff. They're, I'll tell you, they're decent backup batteries. So I mean. You'd pay twenty six dollars just to have just for the a charger. Dual charger. It comes with a it charger, comes with charger and the batteries and two batteries for twenty six bucks. For twenty six bucks. Now I can tell you, I use those batteries all over Europe, and mm -hmm. I cannot tell you that I noticed any difference between the brand name batteries and these eleven dollars. In fact, uh, some of those rocket shots were taken with some of these batteries. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I mean, so there, that's the Power Extra. The Power Extra. Yeah, and like I said, you can get them for Canon for Nikon, for Sony. So all different kinds, too. So all right, Deb says, like oh, Deb's got a good one, because this might be something I can get my wife as long as she's not watching, because that would really kill it. She goes, here's a gift suggestion for people who use the Apple Pencil. So my wife uses the Apple Pencil. Mm -hmm. She's got an iPad Pro, loves her Apple Pencil. She says, this can be found on Amazon, which means, hopefully, we can be found on B&H, because that's where I get my stuff. The Zeitless Apple Pencil Case. Let's she says it's it awesome. I use it all the time. We're going to go look it up, Deb. But let me tell you what. If my wife Calibra is not watching it, 
That is definitely going to be in her stocking. If there's room beside the chocolate. Uh, what? Auto. Auto, Phil. All right. We're looking for the Zytlus. Z-T-Y-L-U-S. Apple pencil case. The Zytlus. Z-T-Y-L-U-S. I'm guessing it's pronounced Zytlus. I don't see We're it. We're looking. We're not having any luck here. Oh, I, wait, I found wait. the actual pen. It's retractable. It's retractable? It's a retractable gift? Like, if you don't like it, you get it back? No, not that kind of retractable. No. Is that it? No, this says it is a Apple Pencil case. That's not an Apple Pencil case, is it? That's an Apple. What's that? That's an actual. Oh, it is a... Pro... Oh, oh, so it fits oh, around it. I see. I see. Ah. Oh. And then it retracts it back in. Oh. It's got the charger. Ah. Now, now the new pens, so here's why it's not going to work for her. She's got the brand new one where it's magnetic and uh -huh. it just attaches. That would work well for the old pencil, but for the new pencil. We were so close, Deb. So close. Well, it's still cool. Still cool. If you have but. the if you have the original uh, Apple, mm -hmm. yeah, like my daughter, then yeah. yes. All right, uh, we got a couple of shout outs. Lars is here from Denmark. Alessio is here from Italy, and Patrick says, "Evening, guys and gals." All and right. that's about all that's left is the three of us here. Yeah. Who, who's in the control room? Anybody? Steve. Steve's in the control room. Yeah. You got. Does he know what all those it. buttons and knobs and stuff do? Oh, he's been practicing, practicing all, day. all week long. There yeah. you go. All right. So what else you got? Well, I've got a nice, really nice thing here. So this was a surprise to me, and I bought two of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so Think Tank Photo makes this rain gear, right? And it's mm -hmm. called Hydrothermia, and it is, it is professional-level rain gear. Like if I'm going to shoot a football game and I know before I leave my house, it's going to rain at the game today, I put the whole Hydrothermia thing together. But a lot of times... It rains when you're not expecting it, and you don't need pro-level protection. So they came out with this I, tremendously inexpensive. Uh, it is in, it's called the emergency rain cover, and it's very well made, very well built, very small. Uh, we found he's look at it over here. At B &H. It's so popular. It's on back order at B &H. It's so popular. It's on back order at B and H, but uh, that's it right there at thirty four seventy five, where the hydrothermia stuff is over a hundred dollars it's like very you know but it's it's like i know it's going to rain and i'm going to do a four-hour football game in pouring driving rain that's hydrothermia but this is you keep it in your bag for that rainy day yeah, yeah. and i and, and I've, I've got one with me i took it with me it's and the medium I, ones it's and stuff. yeah they make a small and a medium size oh, so the new new item coming soon oh yeah it's that's how new it is i just actually well, I just, just you got just mine. got it i just got mine so so it must be coming any day yeah so anyway very cool, the emergency rain cover from Think Tank Photo. That's something that, yeah, everybody needs because you're going to be everybody at the point one. where you're going to be out in the rain. A lot of the cool shots happen in rain or in near rain, rain or, or right after, before rain or right before, after rain. Yeah. But you know, what, you know what happens before rain? A break. Break yes. time is what happens. We're going to take a short break. Speaking, when we, of, break. speaking of breaks, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we have more gifts. We're looking forward to your ideas and comments and stuff. And we'll see you, but wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Christina is on the jib? Were you trained on the jib? Yep, yep. Oh my this gosh. Is it. Yep, look at it, it's coming. It's is coming. it coming? Is it going? It's coming, but Steve's not switching to it. Steve's but, not switching you know. to it. Yeah, that, that's that, the jib. See, Steve, oh, it goes up. Steve, you oh, to start it up there. No, Come no, on. the jib starts low. Down. No, it goes up on the break. <laughs> When you need a tripod that is compact, that is portable enough to take with you anywhere, one that is adaptable to any situation, that will prove versatile enough for any shoot, and is compatible with your other gear, giving you freedom to create your own perspective. Look no further, Platypod Ultra does it all. Visit platypod.com for more info.
This segment of The Grid is brought to you by B&H Photo, the professional source since 1973. Moving. Yep. It's moving. Jib was moving. Yep. Yeah, it goes down at the beginning and then up at the break. That was good. But, I mean, it works. That was good. We have a new camera. We got a new camera working and a new camera person. Look at this. Christina's everywhere. She's yep. running the jib. Look, she's she's got it ready for, like, later. Now she's back to comments. Back to comments. All righty. Run. Back off the camera. Back to comments. Anyway, yeah, we're running the skeleton crew. Everybody's, like, either on vacation or out on the uh, doing stuff. Doing stuff. Shooting rockets mostly. All right. Oh, yeah. All Got some more stuff. I'm going to plug something here. Um, so my friend and your friend, Serge Remily, who is a frequent guest here on The Grid, he is a French photographer. He is based in Paris, France, where he's kind of born and raised, but he also lives in Los Angeles. Well, he has done some beautiful coffee table books on Venice. He mm -hmm. calls it Venice, but... What would he know? Venice, Venice. Venice, Venice. So potato, tomato, potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. Anyway, uh, and he's done New York, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But he just did, and now those are all black and white. He just did a beautiful book on Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And you would think Los Angeles. Here's, a hard city. Here's why I think this book is so inspiring and such a great gift for photographers. Because mm -hmm. nobody thinks, I want to go to Los Angeles and take Suit beautiful city shots. Cityscapes. <laughs> his book will really open you. And that's what I think is good about it. Yep. You can get a, get a, a picture see. book yeah. of Paris and you go, oh, yeah. It's, well, yeah. Of course. Of course. I, oh, yeah, there's Notre Dame. Or Notre Dame. There is uh, the Eiffel Tower. There's a Champs-Élysées, the Arc de Triomphe, all kinds of words in French. There's some crepes. There's some crepes up close. <laughs> and it just seems like, well, yeah, if I was there. But when you go to Los Angeles and you make absolutely beautiful fascinating intriguing shots it, it is inspiring in a very different way especially because, through that smog yeah especially through that smog so here's the book if you can see it on my screen it's literally called los angeles it is a hardcover coffee table size book so it is a very large book there are only 20 copies left on amazon so go get one of those 20 uh it lists for 75 but they are selling it because amazon sells stuff inexpensively uh for 48.74 so 48 dollars and 74 cents it is a beautiful oh and there's also an extra an extra three dollar savings coupon applied at checkout for some reason no one understands but anyway it is an absolutely beautiful book i have a copy it's at my house gorgeous gorgeous you will be stunned at the f i was like because he hands it to me go oh los angeles and you open up the first few pages and you're like this is in los angeles and you realize it would be worth a trip to los angeles to shoot these locations right but it's some i like how you put it though it's something where it is inspiring because nobody really thinks of los angeles as that place it also is a testament to what a good photographer yeah, exactly. is but exactly. it's also inspiring to all of us so Very anyway cool. go check it out you can find it at, at of course barnes and noble bnn bn.com just bn is in barnes and noble barnes noble.com or go to amazon or wherever fine fine books are sold that's where you'll find I'm telling you, people will be impressed if you give it to them. Oh, absolutely. All right. You've got one. You love this thing. Um, yeah. Actually, I do love this thing because I've had it. So I'm not really a camera strap person or anything like that. But I do. So I like to hold my camera in my right. hand. Yeah. Um, I, got this, I got this uh, holster from uh, Spider Cameras. And uh, it's great because it goes right onto your camera. I have the same one. Like this. Yes, it and does. it's just like a grip that you... Um, that you use like that. And I'm telling you, this has just been like, th that's all I use when I'm walking around anymore is just that. Um, cause I just, I'm just not that where I have a strap. I, I just like the- You're have, not, yeah, like, you're not strappy. Yeah. No, I'm not strappy. So now, Eric will, however, carry 4,500 pounds of gear in a backpack, a backpack, a backpack the size of a Volkswagen I on his back. That. He will do that. But remember when you need something, Eric's got I've it. If got you go, it. Eric, do you have a tilt shift? Eric, do you have a whatever? Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. There's the Zeitless Apple pencil case. There it is. Is it, well, Does this one work for the uh, new one? Ooh, she thinks Ooh. it might. Ooh, can we? 
We can't see that. Where did you find that? Oh, at B&H. Ooh, it's at B&H. All right, I'm there. All right. I'm We're going to find there. it at B&H. Everything's at B&H. B&H, by the way, greatest camera store on the planet, hands down. There you go, right there. Apple Pencil Case. There it is, the Apple Pencil in Case. Stock. There it is, in stock. Ships today in 31 minutes. And it's cheaper than the one at Amazon. There Look you go. That. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, Bruce has a good suggestion. Bruce says get a battery grip for the Nikon D850. Oh, you yeah. know, battery grips are, are actually a really, really good gift. Now, yep. it's a good gift for someone who, who is not in that I have to use a smaller, lighter camera. Because it's adding, yeah, it's adding extra weight. batteries, it adds extra girth, but it also adds an extra shutter release. So if you turn, it does your help camera, with that if you're shooting. Oh vertical, yeah, if you're shooting right? vertical, it adds an extra shutter release. And I love, I love, love, love the way a camera feels with a battery grip. Yep, it just feels like yes, this. Yeah, I'll tell is you that that um, EOS R when you put that battery grip on. Oh, oh, it's oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, how much is that that uh, uh, hand grip? The, the Oh, the hang that was sixty bucks. Okay, sixty yeah. bucks. All right, it's not cheap, but if you're gonna, you yeah. know, if you're gonna buy something. I hey, guess. Hilmar. By the way, when I mentioned Hilmar, you mean Hilmar, our guest on the show next week? That's right. Hilmar is going to be our guest live. But Hilmar says hi, Hilmar. Much love December from everybody 5th, here. Not next week. Yeah, December fifth. Oh, December fifth. With the week after? Yes, yeah, the week after. Oh, so we can two weeks. You're Hilmar, trying to make time so, fly. Well, that just no, that just <laughs> makes you, you know. The anticipation that much yes, greater. Yes. Uh, Hilmar says black rapid straps are always a great present for photographers. Yeah. If you are a strap person. Yes, they are the best. That's the that's yeah. the strap I use. I use the black rapid. Can I say something about black rapid? Can I give them a plug? Oh yeah. So black rapid went back and remade their classic black rapid strap. That's the one I use. The classic. It's the nice big one that goes across your chest. Yep. Your camera hangs at your side. Very very nice. Uh, the company that makes your hand hand grip also yeah, does the spider. same thing. Yeah. Spider also makes a very nice. They make a holster one. Yes. But still, they make they make them. They make a holster version. Black Rapid is across. I've been using but, actually the Peak Design one. Uh, that's got the little belt thing on my uh, bag, so is it, it nice? just goes like that. Yeah, because I've yeah. got the grip, and then I got the belt thing. It's great. He's got everything now. He's he's very. Um, he's got everything in that bag. He has everything. If you're like, do you have a toaster? I'm really dying for toast. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Why not? What, whatever you, you want. You never know. All right, uh, let's see what else. Uh, I love my lens, baby lenses. The Velvet 56 is magnificent, and the fisheye is plain fun. Lens, really? baby lenses. Can you find one on Amazon oh, yeah. for us? Absolutely. Eric's gonna go find one. I'm gonna go on B and H. And then Eric and I are. are, 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 are I meant B and H. When um. When uh, this next one, Eric and I both have the same. I can see on your screen. We both have the same gift up. So while he's searching, I will steal his gift idea. <laughs> no, I brought it up because I knew you were going to talk about it. Oh, well, yeah. well. All right. So you guys have seen me here on the grid talk about, and I mentioned it in my gear guide last year, my 10-stop Hiata filter system. So it is a bracket that fits, it, a bracket that attaches to the outside of your camera. Then you have inside a metal box, you open it up, and inside is a glass plate, and the glass plate slides down in front of your camera and it's a 10 stop nd now i have a 10 stop you can buy them in different stops and you can stack mm -hmm. them so you can put a 10 and then slide another three in front and of then it you can be madani and then you can be mimo yep. so here's the thing those are great i think for landscape photographers like you're a landscape photographer mm -hmm. and you are going out and you want to shoot and the thing about the hiata are two things number one they don't shift your color of your photo. Like your color is absolutely. Great. I mean, that's your the color one thing that they're good. Spot yeah, like on. Is really on. Guys, how many people do you know out there that are using competing brands that they turn them brown or they turn them different colors or they sh like so many people have to make their their photos to black and white for long exposures because the color is trashed by their filter. Yep. Not the Hiata, and the Hiata is about half the price of all their competitors. Beautifully packaged, beautifully put together. However, don't show my screen yet. That was a premature screen uh, something. Screen uh, re revelation. Anyway, <laughs> so for travel, it's not as convenient because you yes, have to you have take a huge it out. backpack. 
unless you have Eric with a huge backpack. You have to take it out. You have to attach it to the outside of your lens, open another box, take out the glass, put it in. Mm -hmm. You know, it just takes... It is a pain. It takes some stuff. Hiata makes a screw-on version that I would say is for travel photographers and for the rest of the world. So if you're not doing landscape where you really can take your time and do all that kind of stuff and you're kind of on the go, go get, now show my screen. Yes, boom, the Hiata 10-stop screw-on. It is called the Slim Pro 2. It is very slim, very thin, very small. It just screws on. It's on in 15 seconds. And here and it is at B&H. B&H has it for? 62 bucks. Right 62 there. bucks. Now, that is for the 77 millimeter size? Yes. So that's, that's actually really good for a Hiata. That's, a, that's great a really, deal. I mean, that is the ND filter to get because, like you said, yep. it doesn't shift your colors. It doesn't that's shift your thing. colors. Now, there's sometimes when you, the, the ND filters, it's cool, they, they do shift the colors. Yeah, so I have a, a B plus W. So, German filter. This one. B plus W right here. This one right here that Eric pulled out of the out of the cage. So yep. this one actually makes everything have a, a brown look. tint. But Eric loves that brown tint. Yeah. He, there we go. He loves that this brown one tint. Gives, like a and really every cool time effect. I use it, Eric's like, "Man, I love that." Like, brown how do you tint. process that? And, it's like, and oh, I'm it's like, it's the, it's the it's the filter. It's not me. Yeah. But anyway, that that I think is is extra extra cool. It is uh, cool. But the Haida is. What I found to be the best. I use the yep. the drop in ones. You're you're starting to just use this. Though. Yeah, I got them both. I have the yeah, drop you have ins. Yeah, both. And but I've seen you using this one more than anything. Yeah. Well, right? that's because we just went to Austria and we were in yeah. Austria and we were in Germany and we were in Slovenia. Yep. We were all over the place. And when you're traveling a lot like that, like this goes right in my sling bag. Boom. Oh yeah, that's great. All right. So actually, I did have that the other hiata in my sling bag you when did. I went to Venice. So but. anyway. Highly recommended. A great, great uh, for, for 60, 60, 65 bucks? 60, um, 62 dollars. How do you beat that? How do you beat it? You can't. Oh, yeah. All right. David has another gift suggestion, and I second this. This was in my gear guide for last year an L bracket. So the, an L bracket attaches to the side mm -hmm. of your camera. It yep. looks like an L. And what it allows you to do is you're shooting wide. You can just do a quick release and turn your camera and shoot sideways or tall or sideways. Literally, like five seconds. Boom. Turn it. And right lock there. It. And this particular one is a universal one. So the one that he recommended is actually from Three Leg Thing. This is a the QR11 LC. It is a universal I think L bracket. It has it on you the do camera. not have to. Yeah, Boom, you can see it on like the that. camera. You don't have to get it in orange. You can get it, get it in, in gray. Black. It comes yeah. in a nice, there we go. There it comes go. in a nice gray. I got the orange one just because I think it's kind of cool. But you can get it in gray, and it flips from vertical to horizontal in literally Wait. like seconds. Uh, and they're just so sturdy and so easy. You'll fall in love with them. And by I the way, heard that. That, that is a great gift. if you're out shooting landscapes, because it's really for landscape photographers, if you're out there shooting landscapes and you don't have an L bracket, some photographer is going to walk up to you and go, Hey, why don't you get an L bracket? Why aren't you using an L bracket? It's just like every, like a landscape photographer, you're born like and they hand you an L bracket. Yeah. L brackets have been very expensive, over $200. Oh, yeah. So them breaking that price barrier at $49.99 at B&H Photo, greatest store in the world. Uh, hey, I, by the way, they are a sponsor of, of our show. But I was saying they were the greatest store in the world before they way ever before sponsored that. the show. We love B&H. They're an awesome... Awesome people yep. and an awesome store. Absolutely. All right. But we have to take a break. Yeah, it was break time. When we it's come back, we've time. got more stuff, more fun stuff. i got a, a couple of pictures to share with you and a whole lot more when we come right back here on the grid for our holiday gear guide. Watch the jib and see if the quality is there. Here is we go. Smooth, We're nice. We're going. Going way up. Up. Oh, she's good. Up. Oh, yeah.
This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Make sure you don't miss any episodes of The Grid by subscribing to Apple's podcast app or iTunes. It's free, and we even have a special audio-only version, too. So sign up today. Is our mics on? We're running a tight show today. Hi. This has been fun. <laughs> hey. Well, the network. The, ne the network called. The network called. They want their called. show back. <laughs> All right, you got a softbox there. I do. That's, I do have a softbox. All right, so we're, you know, for those of you just joining us, we're in the middle of our holiday show. You've got a great yes. softbox here. So I, this one is awesome, and I know we both use this one. This yeah. is the one I so, use for Hot Shoe Flash, yep. and it is the best ever. So it's really cool. It's this Westcott Rapid Box, right? So what's really cool about it is it folds down, but then if you want to put it together, you just pop it together, and you're done. That's how that's fast it. it comes together. That's now it. You, you, you want to disassemble it? It's done. That's it. Now, like, it boom. also comes in the smallest carrying case you've ever seen. Yeah. It is super Look, small. I can do that without even looking at it. And, and I, I will say, yeah, of all the things that Westcott has ever made, and I, they make a lot of great products, this is my hands-down favorite. You put a little diffuser over the front, yeah. and you're ready to shoot. It is, it, they do make it for studio lights. I use it for, primarily for hot shoe flash. But they do make it for studio lights, and they they have that new kit. You'll that if you haven't seen on one of the commercial breaks, you will see. But yeah, no, you just throw that thing over the top. And that's it, and you do that. That's it, and yeah. you're good to go. Uh, so it's really cool, and it can produce a uh, really good results. Um, that's uh, how much? It it's 149 bucks. So 149 bucks. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad. All right, now next we're gonna do. A gift, and we're not only going to recommend this gift, which is the first gift that has been in the gear guide two years in a row. Not only are we going to recommend this, but we're going to give one away live to someone watching on the show right now. It is the greatest, most incredible, most ludicrous tripod replacement ever. Mug. It's not a mug. It is. The Platypod Ultra. It is the ultimate when it comes to... We're trying to find out where it's in focus right there. <laughs> it's the ultimate when it comes to uh, not having to use a tripod. Uh, can, yep. Give me one second, and I'm going to show you where I was just recently using it. I put it on... Um, where did I put it today? On my Instagram? Give me one second. Give me a second. Oh, here it is right here. Can we pull my screen? Yeah. Here's my Instagram account, and this is a photograph taken inside St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, which happens to be one of the m most Not busiest, the Sistine Chapel. Not the Sistine Chapel, but the regular St. Peter's, one of the busiest tourist attractions in the world. It's the Vatican. It's the, it's the, it's the cathedral at the Vatican in Vatican City, Rome. So, or in Vatican City, Italy, technically. Okay. There's just a bazillion people inside of mm -hmm. there. In fact, somebody saw that picture and said, you know, how did you get this with all these people there? And I said, there's two tricks to getting that shot. Trick number one, be the first people in there. We got up early, and we got there when there was, it was me and another buddy, and we were there. I mean, if they opened it like 7.30, we were there at 7, and we got in line. We were not the first people in, but we are among the group of the first 100 people in. But this place is, it's so gigantic, it's so just huge, that 100 people go in there and you don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. Trick number two, platypod. So take a look on screen. So here's the shot, and look, that's not it. I hit the wrong button. That's it's still a cool shot. Button. Thank you. It's this one. There's my lonely platypod. Lonely platypod. So my camera is held up with a platypod on the ground, aiming up because it the, it is low light in there. It's a you know dark cathedral, and I'm trying to not only take a really sharp shot. But I'm bracketing everything. So I'm doing two stops under a regular exposure and two stops uh, uh, under. So the whole thing, is, it needs, it's like has to sit there for a minute. And I was able to use that platypod and put it all over. Guards look straight at it, don't say a word. You pull out a tripod, they will shoot you. They will shoot you on sight. You pull out a platypod, they're like, it's okay. And I was able to put it on all kinds of different levels and different stuff. Anyway, we're going to give one of these away today. Now, this is, you attach a ball head to it. But 
they've already started. So the folks at Platypod started their Black Friday sale now. It's going now. You can get a bundle of the Platypod Ultra and a Benro ball head. And if you get that bundle of the ball head and the Ultra, they throw in the $29 accessory kit, which is awesome. It really is worth every penny. So it's the... You it's get that the, for free. It's the Ultra, Yep. the ball head, and, and the, the accessory, accessory kit. kit. Which the accessory kit really is something that's it's it's a ha it's very handy. You, so you get the strap get where the, you can strap um, to like poles. A, a longer strap you yep. can strap it to poles. It's got all kinds of carrying cases. You even get it where you can do the light stand where you can turn it into a light stand. You can use it as your flash. Yep. I mean the accessory kit honestly yep. is awesome. It's got like seven different things. It's great. Yep. But uh, you can get the whole thing as a deal for where's the you had it on screen. What was the actually Hang she on. had it. Oh she had it. Oh, that doesn't help us. Well, Let's, if you go to Platypod, I'm sure we'll, we can we'll go find there. it. Here, I'll go. go there. I'll go there. You, because he's already got stuff up. Let me go there. I'm going to go to the world of Platypod. So their website is, and we're going to give oh, one you're, away you're right now. There. So Christina, find somebody. Platypod.com. I just, I just spelled it wrong. That was nice. P-L-A-T-Y-P-O-D.com. And their Black Friday sale is on right now. And there it is. Black Friday starts now. So it's the Benro IN00, which is a nice small ball head, which is what you want, with a quick release plate. Whoa! All right. Plus the Platypod Ultra we just showed you. And they will give you the free multi-accessory kit, which is $29 off is what you're basically getting on the whole kit. It's, it's $109 for the whole kit altogether. So go to platypod.com, but someone's going to win. And our winner right. is... And Goodall, who is watching right, right now. Congratulations, go, Ann. We're going to contact you, and we're going to send you a beautiful Platypod Ultra, courtesy of our friends and sponsor, Platypod. Now, to follow up on the Platypod, I got something that you really need to get if you're going to be having using the Platypod, and that is this. You get a wireless shutter release. It's got to be wireless. It's got to be wireless. Get a wireless shutter but release. But look at this. I use this one. $28. It has worked for years. <laughs> years. $28? I have beat that thing up. Dude, what brand is it? Because I've been using one Pixel. that's $99. It's, it's, I, I have used this for years. Seriously, The thing is like bucks? a rock. No problems. Use it all over the place. But and yeah, you well, need wait, that wait with a the platypod. What's the big thing and the little thing? So the, the one that goes on the top of your camera. So you got... One that goes on the top of your camera like that. And then yeah. you got the wireless remote there. And that's it. Boom. And that thing does like time lapse and all that kind it of does stuff. Anything Long you exposure, want. whatever anything you, want. you want. And it's $28. I cannot believe you always find the best deals on stuff. But with a platypod, this is like a must. Like this will take your platypodness up like 10 okay. levels. It's not a must because I don't use mine with a with a remote at all. I just either do a if self If you do timer. this, if you do this, it will take it up. Well, if it was 28 bucks, if I had known about it. I'm telling you, take it up a notch. Tom's got now, one. the other thing you can do is just a timer, like your timer. Hey, Tom's got a good thing here, and I've yeah. seen this before. I think Tom's on to something. Mm -hmm. So Tom says, this is good for shooting through glass, aquariums, train oh, windows. Yeah, yeah. It's called LensSkirt.com. Let's go take a look at it. I think Tom's got a good one there. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about Ann. Right here. Ann's got a one, too. Hold on. That's it. Basically, there it it's suction cups onto the uh, window. Or, you know, and it just there you go, right glare. there. Cuts to the glare. Gets rid of glare. So you yeah. can shoot inside of a, an aquarium or whatever. Yep. Now, you pull it out on an airplane. Oof. Oof. Might be rough. Yeah. Might you, be a bad day for you. No, I think if you, if you told the flight attendant... Hey, I'm a photographer. I brought this thing. I'm just gonna, you know, maybe, yeah, then because you know, Julianne Koss had to do that for her, for her book called Window Seat, where she did mm -hmm. all of her photography, and she had to put a, a like a black thing over mm -hmm. her head, and she would tell them first, hey, and they would go, aren't you Julianne Koss from Adobe? And she'd go, well, yeah, and they go, sure, put a black mask over your, oh, over your entire head during a flight. Nobody cares. But if it's the rest of us, you know, then it's probably not as good. I want to ask Am, uh, Ann about the Loom Cube Air. So I know that a Loom Cube is a, is a bright little light, but I don't know what to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen them. I've held I've, them. I've used them to light paint before. Um, 
Uh, do I have a shot that I've used a Luma Cube on? No, because this was this was done with a Westcott. Um, this one was the same technique where you're lighting the cars. Uh, I could have used a Luma Cube, but I used a uh, Westcott um, Ice Light for that. But I had one. You used an Ice Light? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's an Ice Light. Was it in your backpack? Yeah, it was. There's another. That's an Ice Light shot. Wow. But it's the same principle. You could use you could use that, but. I don't know what the loom. Cube hey, Patrick asked, will there be a list of the items featured somewhere? There will be. And we'll tell you about it that in a minute. But first, so what's a loom? We have cube to take a break air. now. What are the chances that when we come back, we'll get notified? Aha! Eh. Uh -huh. The loom cube air. Well, he's looking at the loom cube air. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we've got some more goodies, some more holiday goodies. So stick around for that. And the Loom Cube Air. Emily, look who I have. Look at my bunny. It's so exciting. It's so exciting to watch those little ones because the beauty is you can capture so many different moments within truly a few seconds. I think when we think of capturing child portraits and you think of, okay, I need to capture this picture with the child smiling and looking at the camera. Instead, I think about the age and what children are doing. Toddlers ages one to three are not sitting hardly ever and staring and smiling. <laughs> it's not what they do. If they're the type of child who really truly is exploring according to their own terms, that's what I want. such beautiful art of little ones. Just be in the moment and play. Kids are exploratory by nature, and if you just have your camera in hand, being ready for every moment, not for the moment, but every moment, you'll be sure to capture it. I'm Tracy Sweeney. Check out my latest course, Pro Tips for Photographing Toddlers, on kelbyone.com. Photography is a performance art. So that every time I go to a location now, I walk away with a storybook of not only the hero, but vignettes. I love little scenes. I love component parts that make up the whole. It's more than just using your eyes, it's listening. It's feeling, it's making choices and determinations that bring your point of view into your image. Be specific, make really strong choices, take a moment, and even when you think you have the shot, question yourself and say, is there more? And take it as far as you can. The more we do it this way, in a really present way, in a joyful way, in a loving way, and bringing you know, everything we have to the moment, the more it spreads into your image. I'm Dave Williams and I'm inviting you to a brand new course on Kelby One, Cinematic Drone Photography. I'll be showing you everything you need to create the best photos and the best video from your drone. How to replicate things that are done in Hollywood movies to make the best cinematic videos and photos that you can and to really stand out among the crowd in this ever-growing drone market. With the rise of commercial drones becoming much more affordable, you need to be the one that stands out among the crowd and I'm going to show you how to do that. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. I'm Scott. And this is Eric. Welcome Hello. to another episode of The Grid. Today, we're looking at holiday <laughs> gifts for Whoa. the discriminating photographer. <coughs> wow. Wow. All right. We have some discriminating gifts. Well, this is this is taking it up a notch. Yeah, now right? now we're gonna like get we're gonna get serious. Out. We're gonna get serious. We're gonna no spend more some money. twenty dollar no cool thing. No, no more, more twenty eight dollar slide. Now it's time for I'm buying presents for the one I love. Yourself, <laughs> right? or yourself? It's okay to buy yourself presents. 
Yes. No more $39 rain covers. <coughs> this is rarefied air. Do you want to go first? Sure, absolutely. You got a good so, one right there. You got um, two. So I got one right here. If right here, drone, get yourself a little Mavic Air. Yeah, especially if you're new to drone. Yep. This is a fantastic drone. What's great about this one is it's just easy to use. Folds out, folds up. Folds out. It's got little Ooh. legs that Ooh. extend. It's so small Ooh. you can carry it with extra batteries Ooh. and all like in your. That's it. That's it. Ooh. That's the whole drone. And it does 4K video, and it does stills, Bills. and it does surveillance, and it does like. Uh, and here you, you go, right there. It. It's on sale. On sale. Nine ninety nine, and that's for the Fly More combo. It, yep. There it is. You that comes with want, all the stuff you, you need. You want the Fly More combo? Yep. Don't it's gonna just go. going to give you all the batteries, yeah. the remote, everything you need. You, you need all of that. Do not go and just buy a drone. You want the Fly More combo. Nine ninety nine, can't be. But I think if you're getting is into it nine or eight, no, it's eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Wow, I spent too much. If you're getting into drone photography, this drone videography, it. this is probably this is your entry point. This yep. is where to start because two, it's so easy to fly. Well, wait a minute. It, Let's back it up. Yeah. If they just want to play around, they should get the Spark. If you really want to play yeah, around, get, yeah, get the Spark. Yeah, this is for I, I want to do some serious photography, but I'm not doing commercial gigs. Like you're not gonna hire me to do a gig. Yeah. But I, I wanna I I I'd still sell somebody to just go for the air. I mean I would. The spark's cool well, and all. But it's double the price. So it's it is double yeah, the price. So, so I mean it just well, matters. Let's just throw it out there. It's also yeah. out there. Air, spark, one of those. Hey, Jock's photos has got a, a recommendation here. He says the go the goal zero micro lanterns are great for low level lighting for night shoots, and it's about twenty seven dollars ish. Hmm. Cool. All right. N. Robbins Photo says, I just booked my Photoshop World ticket, my Photoshop World Conference ticket today. Anybody else going? Hey, uh, N. Robbins, yeah. first, thank you very Absolutely. much for booking. Number two, a whole bunch of people today. Eric oh, was yeah. telling me today. A whole bunch of people signed up. A whole up. bunch of people signed up for Photoshop World. We have two of them this year. So the Photoshop World Conference will be in Orlando in early summer and in Las Vegas in late summer. So it's on both coasts. And the deals are right now. We well, have that's what, um, yeah, that's a lot of people sign up today because it started our cyber deal. So just like Potty Pod was having theirs, uh, our cyber deal started a day. Um, if, you go to, .com slash cyber? if you go to kelby1.com slash cyber, uh, that's our Kelby One deal. So you yep. can get a uh, pro, an annual pro membership for $50 off. So it's the Woo! cheapest price the whole year. That is the cheapest And price. the cool that's thing about sure it is price. you get that rate locked in forever. So oh, it's really cool. So you were it's like a little bonus, rate? yeah. Ooh, that is nice. Um, and then Ooh, Photoshop nice. World, photoshopworld.com forward slash cyber. Yeah. You get 300 bucks off a Photoshop World ticket uh, for the next uh, week. Yeah, that's so. as good as a price as you're ever going to get. This is the, the best price on those two items you'll ever get. Now, you Never remember again. last year, everybody talking about how awesome Photoshop World was. Like everybody last year was like, man, Photoshop World was amazing and incredible. This is the year you got to go. Mm -hmm. It's either East Coast or West Coast. You're going to have a ball. All of your favorite people and your instructors will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric will be there. I'll be there. Christina will be there. Steve will be there. Everyone will be there. You want to be there. It's so much fun. Three days of learning and laughter, and you'll just have a ball. And uh, look at that, 300 bucks off the... Th Did that I prove is... that? That seems very low. Yeah, we didn't. we didn't get your approval on that one. We just went with it. Well, at least it explains why we got so many signups. Well, that's good, I guess, because Eric gave me the numbers this morning. I'm like, are you kidding me? So it's uh, oh, people. Uh, Photoshop World's great too. I mean, it it's is. one of those things where if you're in that stage of your photography where you're looking to kind of take it to the next level, especially if you're looking to like network and connect with people. You know, yeah. when you go to a conference and you get like immersed in that for three days, it takes your it just takes you up a whole. Notch. You know, I think that's one of the reasons why the last Photoshop World was so great. Oh yeah. There's so much uncertainty and weirdness and bad news. You go there and you just shut everything You're else immersed, and you yeah. get immersed in the creativity. There's post processing, there's Photoshop, there's Lightroom, there's plugins, there's shooting opportunities, photography, there's lighting, yeah. there's lots of shooting and photography opportunities. Definitely bring your camera to Photoshop World. So anyway, it, it is it is just really exciting and would love to have you come. And, and don't wait. Buy it right and now. And I'm sure there's people. I know there's people in the chat right now that are going. Definitely. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, can I do mine now? Yeah, absolutely. 
Did you Let's, do yours? Yeah, well, we did the, so we did oh, yeah, the drone. All right, I got so one. So now you're going to kick it up even right, on another, another notch, Here right? Go. It's behind my, it's so small, it's behind my laptop. <gasps> yes, it is the Profoto B1. So I switched to Profoto this year. Uh, and I, by the way, they, they did not contact me and say you should switch. I contacted them and said, everyone's using Profoto but me, McNally, and every big, every big, like name in the industry, and I've always wanted to use Profoto. Everybody does. They make the best lights in the world, and so I called them up and said, "You know what? I, I'm 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 ready I to need, make the switch." I need to go to Profoto. Oh my gosh! So I I know that they look cool. They're not cheap. They're they're for pros. Oh my gosh! I totally get it now. And so I just did a shoot. I did. So by the way, if you get one, do you know how you're going to learn it? So I just did a class. <laughs> I just finished a class on location photography using the B1. Now, I will say this. I did a class on it. It is, it is the easiest to use strobe ever made. The soft boxes go on the easiest. It all, it's just, it is the easiest. It's one of those designed very well products. It is so well, ridiculously well designed. Very powerful, <coughs> very small. And this is the whole thing. This is it. The battery is inside here. Like the battery, you can swap right it in there, and out. Yeah. Here's the battery right here. It just pulls off, and you can swap it in and out. There's this little button right here. It swaps <coughs> in and out. Excuse That's me. your battery, and you're good to go. And it just, it's just amazing. And they are so consistent and so well built. It is just stupid. Can I show you? I did a shoot. When would we do this? Monday? We did this Monday. Yeah. So what I did was I did a class on location photography, and then I... I wanted to go do a shoot. So what I decided to do was to do, I wanted to do a safari fashion shoot. So we wanted to make it look like we were on safari. So what we did was, but we wanted to do it on a budget. We didn't really want to go to Africa. <laughs> so take a look on screen and you can see the behind the scenes shot. I did the whole thing using just one light. The idea was to make it not look like I'm using a light. I mean, I think that's the... That's the you idea want it to of look flash natural. most of the time. So when I show you the finished shot here in a second, I'm going to show it to you. The, I want you to know what I was trying to do was to make it look like it was not lit with, with a strobe, right? So that's one. Number two is take a look back at the picture because there's very little invested here. There is the one light. It's just one light shoot. Number two, do you see the tent in the background? Where do we get that tent? Walmart. It's a huge tent. How much was it? $234. Now, it's not open on both sides. Christina had to cut the back side, and she's still, she was like, I'm going to cut it. You sure you want me to cut this? As soon as she starts cutting, we're like, wait, wait. No, of course, we really did want to cut because I wanted you to be able to see. Now, there was supposed to be a Jeep back there. We had rented a Jeep. We had a guy that had like a safari-looking Jeep. The Jeep broke down on the way to the shoot, mm -hmm. and he called us from the dealership like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Well, he, he never yeah, did show. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, and, and the rest of the stuff we got very inexpensively online. Some of it we brought from the office. And do you see that bag that's right behind her on the ground? That's one of my, uh, that's one of my picks here in just a minute. Yeah. But the rest of the stuff, all really inexpensive. We, we took some stuff off the grid set. <laughs> the little liquor glasses from the mm -hmm. grid set behind us. Uh, anyway, I'll show you. The, and, and then I'm using a, a Tether Tools little rig there and three-legged thing. And that's, that's Julio. Julio helping out. All right. And here's the, here's the final shot. Whoops. I got to hit the next uh, wrong button. It's, and the final shot is there. There's the shot. So that's, what, that's the look we were going for. Now, very cool. you will notice I had to do something in Photoshop. There's very little done to this in Photoshop. It was, it was really pretty good at coming out of the camera. Now, first off, I want to point out the light. If I didn't have that light on her, she would be basically just a um, almost silhouette, a silhouette, silhouette yeah. thing, right? So almost a silhouette. So the light is behind her. The sun is behind her. You can see the sun coming through the tent behind her. So the idea and what the, a lot of the class on location was is how do we make the light look natural? How do we make it not look flashy? Because one of the things I see a lot is, is light looking flashy. Like, it looks like, wow, yeah. you just turned on it's a big flash. It's not balanced. It's right. just like, yeah, it looks like you just turned on a big flashlight and right. shine it shine All right, so I, wanna, I want you to go back and I want to show you something. So look how green 
the grass is. And we needed high grass to make it look like Africa, right? So we had we needed to go, this is a cow pasture in Plant City, Florida. It's a cow pasture in Plant City. And so we literally had to move the cows. The cows would, every once in a while, gather behind the tent. Yeah. And they would take a Ford F-150 and just kind of, me, 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 yeah. and the cows would very slowly move. And then at one point, they moved away and then turned and came right back like, wait, I can see he's shooting. All right. So, so there is the behind the scenes. And here's, and but, that, but here's what I want to point out. Look how green the grass is. Yep. And then the grass is not green here. I knew when I shot it, I was going to have to, I desaturated the grass. So this, this is what I did in Photoshop just for fun. Uh, I went into Camera Raw or Lightroom, whichever you use. I got the adjustment brush, and I painted over all the grass, and I almost took all of the color out of the grass. So they, it was basically gray grass. Mm -hmm. There's a little color at the bottom of it. There's a color swatch. It's always turned off. It has a big X through it. If you click on there, it brings up a color tint, and I added a beige tint to make it look more, more like Africa. Cool. We had a wonderful model. Uh, her name was Gabby, and she was very, very patient as we, as I'm teaching on camera and explaining all this and talking. She just kind of has to stand there in the back, which is not a lot of fun. But she was very, a very good, very great trooper, and we had a great, great makeup team. And you know, a lot of the folks were here. Christina produced the shoot. Well done, Christina. No, oh, no. Yeah. Calibra did the art direction via FaceTime, so she couldn't be at the shoot. But we used our FaceTime camera, and she would basically do all the art direction. She picked, she hired the model, hair and makeup, all the outfits, the whole nine yards. Christina brought it all together. I shot it. Eric flew a drone. <laughs> flew I that did. drone right there. That drone right there. Flew the drone over. Kathy Perupski, who just walked in, was uh, assisting on the set, as was Julio Agla Ag Julio. Julio. <laughs> You I know, knew I know. Julio. I said it wrong. I said it. I blew it. Anyway, but we had a lot of fun, and it wasn't too hot. No. We started to try to do that shoot in August, and it it rained out. Rained out. out rained we drove out, all the way out. there, and we just sat there in the rain. So it was rained out four times. We rained out four times. We finally got it done. I can't wait to release the class. And hey, and what what class what? comes out uh, tomorrow? Slim system. Ooh. So tomorrow I got a Lightroom class coming out. Lightroom class coming out tomorrow it is the 2019 version so the new version of my slim system so my simplified lightroom image management system it's my latest version and it of course includes all the new profiles and all that stuff so that will be uh because it's been out for a few years but my system's changed and it's grown and it's changed over time and i wanted to make sure that everybody had the the latest one but Scott, what do you do if you you know you don't have the tent, you don't have the the props, you don't have all the stuff that goes into making the picture? What do you do? You do something else. <laughs> so exactly. we didn't spend a lot on the shoot. To be honest yep. with you, our, our biggest expense was hiring a, yep. the model, and um, but models you can get very inexpensively. You can hire models yep. that will either work. They'll either do time for time for prints, is what they call it, TFP. They're, they're, you're making a photo for their portfolio, and they're helping you make a photo for your portfolio. Right. So you can do that. You can find models on Facebook. You can find models for $50 an hour, $100 an hour, $500 an hour. It's how much you want to pay. But the point being is if you're wanting to do this style, you're wanting to do these styles, shoots, that's what you have to put into it. You've yeah, got you to, put, have in to that put in some planning time. and time and props. There was a lot of story planning. Uh, planning. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of planning and time and coming up with the idea. And the props and stuff. Knowing where the sun's going to set. Okay, let me tell you where to get your props, though. Can yep. I tell you what the secret is? Calibra, yep. turn me on to this. Home goods. Yep. Oh, my gosh. The, you cool. can get stuff so inexpensively at home goods. And you can also go to Nordstrom Rack and get really inexpensive fashion. I mean, so we, we try to do all of these things on a budget. We don't go out there and go, let's spend $5,000 on a shoot. Yeah, we try it's usually to go, like five like 500 yeah so now, if that and sometimes you have to invest to make the kind of shots that you want to make you have to invest you're going to have to hire a professional model you're going to have to have a, a it was one light one light and one softbox what if you don't have this light and this softbox then you use the light and the softbox that you have so that's it yeah you you, you work with what you've got you work within the yep. budget that you have and Absolutely. our budget was well, our budget was really low wasn't it christina she yeah. would know because she's in charge of the budget She's very budget conscious. 
But uh, we did have snacks. Mm-hmm. Well, it was more expensive than we anticipated because we had to... Yeah. Well, she said we, it was more anticipated that, than we expected because we had to do it twice. We drove all yep. the way out there, hired yep. everybody... And when the shoot is a bust, you still have to pay everybody. You can't go, oh, it did rain. So there's, I know you drove all the way out here, took the day off, and yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the location? That doesn't work. What would our location cost us? Seventy-five dollars an hour. That's all it costs for us to rent. She's a great Boom. producer. She's an awesome producer. Anyway, wanted to share that with you. Uh, you can get this at B and H. Now this mm-hmm. is uh, it's a kit. So you're going to get a battery and a case, and it's like everything that you would ever need. It's about two grand. About two thousand. About two two thousand. But you will have this for ten years. Yeah, it is the the workhorse. It is tank. Everybody uses it. All the top pros. Everybody. I'm finally using it, and I'm. I'm it's like one of those things pro. where you're going to invest into that, and that's going to be your light for yeah a long it's, it's long it's like when time. we tell people buy a really good tripod, and they're yeah. like, what's a really good tripod cost? Seven hundred and fifty bucks. They're like, what? I go, I've had my tripod have it for forever. 10 years, you know, and it's, it's you, any, anyway, it's beautiful. Hey, Ellie says, thank you, Ellie. She says, I love the light quality on that shot. So, Ellie, mm-hmm. this, the secret, I'll, I'm going to give you a, a preview of the class. The secret to get that light quality is two things, and this is a big one. Don't turn the freaking flash up too bright. I, I see so many, Ellie, I see so many people using strobes that over the they just turn the flash way up bright and number two is it, it, the flash is not aiming the softbox is not aiming directly at her it is actually kind of aiming past her so she gets the little bit of the um she gets a little bit of the uh the side of the the softest part of the light hits her so it's not not the uh, not the direct light, but those are the two things. The light's very close to her. Take a look at the at the behind the scenes picture. Yeah, look, the right light there. is very close. The closer the light, which is part of another secret, the right softer. There. And yeah. then uh, we make sure that only the edge of the light's hitting her and not the center of the light. And uh, and, and it's a big, beautiful softbox. It's a beautiful five foot. Why do we have to use a five? Why such a big softbox? Because we have to light the clothing. If it's a portrait, I can get away with a small softbox or a beauty dish or anything like that. But because it is going to be a, uh, a lot of the shots were full length and I have to light right. the clothing. And you have to light the clothing fairly evenly, right? So you don't want her Especially hand to be it's dark. it's a fashion or, shoot. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's basically the, uh, the deal. Gordon says, uh, Very cool. I saw this on your Twitter, Scott. Fantastic shots. Thank you. Yep. And lots of nice comments. Yeah, Thank Katrin you, Mary Jo. Saying, and uh, stunning picture. Daniel. And Daniel saying, awesome shot. And then Lenworth saying, Orlando, here I come. All so, right. Yeah. Lenworth, we'll see and you there. And then Brenda saying, I'm coming the first time. Orlando coming solo. Oh, and hey, then, Brenda, can I tell you something? If you're coming yep. to Photoshop World by yourself for the first time, um, on the first night, we have a thing called Dinner with a Stranger. It's for people that have never been to Photoshop World before, or you're just there alone. Mm-hmm. You go and sign up. There's all these different restaurants. There'll be like Italian and a steakhouse and uh, Asian food and whatever. Sign up for a restaurant, and then you get a button that says, I'm a stranger. You show up at the restaurant, and everybody, you'll see people wearing I'm a stranger. Oh, yeah. You all have dinner together. And we do it the very first night so you can make friends and then hang out with people. People have made lifelong friendships from that oh, dinner. Absolutely. It is such a great and thing. There's other opportunities, like uh, you know, with the community, there'll be uh, people from the Kelby One community that'll be there, and you know, they'll be in a lounge, and people come up, and, and then just they'll hang just out. hang out, and then those people will end up hanging with them the whole week. And and you there's know. Vanelli, the cruise director, yep. who'll make sure Vanelli. if you're there for the first yeah. time, you will have so much yeah, the fun. Meet up. meet up the night yeah. before. There's the just so much fun. You're going to have such like, a great time. It's definitely one of those things where it's a very much a community type environment, networking type environment. All right. Let's answer. We got to go. So let's answer yep. uh, Brad's question. Uh, Brad says, Eric, what is a good gear bag to carry around? I have a large bag, but it's a pain to get in and out of in a hurry. Brad, we got we got two. Well, I'll tell you, you know, the one that, you know, we both use uh, when we're traveling is this Think this Tank Roller. Best right? camera bag ever. So this is definitely something. They actually make a version of this, which the video department has, that actually will turn into a backpack. Um, it's very heavy if you do that. Okay, but. here's the thing. Let me tell you why it's such a great bag. It holds yep. a ton of stuff. Just an absolute oh, ton. Yeah. This is the you bag I take with right me here. everywhere I go. But because it has look at four all that. wheels... Because it, it literally glides. I am not exaggerating. And Eric will tell you, you can take yep. your pinky, pinky 
and slide Push it. it. You can go through the airport pushing it with your pinky, and if you let go, it will roll in front of you. I'm telling you guys, like this air. is the bag. It is. It floats on air. Yep. Do not get a camera bag that is a. If you have a two wheeler, you will be dragging it everywhere, and you're gonna go. God, this bag is so heavy. You will never say that until you're lifting it into the overhead bin. At that Absolutely. moment, you will feel like. Oh God! What have I done? All right, we got to wrap this up. And you have uh, one more bag that you I got a bag to, too. Now yep. this is really a luxury item, but oh so this my god! This is gosh. like taking it up a notch from the think tank. Yeah. So the think tank is three hundred ninety nine. Yes. This is in the five hundred six hundred dollar range, and let me get you the exact name of it because I have it right here. Hang on! Don't move! Don't breathe! Don't make a sound! I'm going to get you the exact name. Where did it go? The exact name is coming, so don't do anything that would mess me up. It's the Weekender camera bag. It's the Weekender camera bag, and there's two versions. You can get the Weekender or like the there Weekender. it is right here. All right, hold on, Eric. Got it. it. Bring it up. Right. From Compagnon. So this is a beautiful bag made in Germany. It's real leather. It's got tons of pockets. It's got tons of space. This one's big enough, and I'm not. I'm not making this up. The Weekender is for your camera gear and your clothes. The whole nine yards, the camera gear and the clothes. But it's a it, really nice bag. It is an absolutely really nice. gorgeous, and it makes a great prop if you do a safari fashion shoot. Yeah, it really does. So there's <laughs> that. It is such a well-made, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And it, I mean, this is one of those ones where, where you're, you can imagine someone opening this on Christmas morning or, or yeah. and like, Oh my gosh, I mean, it is, it's made as well as you're going to see a bag made. Mm -hmm. So, that is when you want to put your clothes in there and your camera gear, the whole nine yards. Can you, you use that big backpack that you put everything in the world in here. Yep. What, what is that? Um, it's that not is a, a gear guy, but what is it? No, it's a rugged uh, backpack. Um, um, I'd have to find it. I don't know. I'd have to find it, but I'll uh, I'll bring it up or I'll just talk about it in the community or something. All right, but, good yeah. because that you've got a killer one. All right, so where and is the, the the point being with mine is I always get a bigger one because <laughs> I always that way I've got he all those big. little things that I need. He goes big. Yep. All right, Ann came back to us. She said the Loom Cube Air is smaller than the normal Loom Cube. Yeah, I saw that. I I didn't even know that they made one. I didn't one. either. Victoria Pavlov says Photoshop World is amazing. Part of the reason why Photoshop World is amazing is because Victoria will be there teaching digital painting. So she is an awesome digital artist. Mm -hmm. She'll be painting. Hey, uh, I also want to pitch a couple of things that would be great stocking stuffers, and we're going to give both of these away right now to someone watching on the air. First one, uh, this is my, my latest book on Lightroom. Well, I have two books for Lightroom. This one is four. It's my latest one for people who are already familiar kind of with Lightroom. Like you kind of know how to use Lightroom. You're, it's, you're not just starting. But what you're thinking is, I know that Lightroom can do this. I just don't remember how. You turn to the page. It gives you that one topic. I'll flip it open to give you an idea. Like it, it flips to one topic and shows you, where is the focus? There, there we go. One topic, how to do that one thing. It shows you exactly what the problem is, what the fix is. It's just real straight ahead to the point. So this is the brand new version for Lightroom Classic. The previous version of this book, which just this is brand new, went to press. It went, it's in its seventh printing. It's been a killer. I love it. All right, now we're gonna give this away. This goes to Kathy A. A, Kathy A. It's the letter A. Kathy, congratulations, you've just won this book. And we're going to give this other book away to someone watching right now. It is my Lightroom Classic book. This book is the in the history of Lightroom books, the best-selling book ever. And it is the complete book. It is like, I'm brand new, I need to learn your slim system from scratch, I need the whole thing. The whole thing from scratch, this is the one. This is for everybody, if you're new, if you're advanced, if you're intermediate, whatever, this covers everything you'd ever want to do in Lightroom. And it takes you through step by step. So this one is, is step by step, the other one is one thing per page. So they're very different types of books, and uh, I think you'll dig it. And we're going to give this to Dove Lady. All right, Dove Congratulations, Lady. Congratulations, Dove Lady.
You just won a book. So here's here's the backpack. Right here. He found it. The yep. world's largest backpack. Yeah. It's not the world's largest, but it's a good price. It's not a bad price. One hundred forty nine dollars. One hundred forty nine so, bucks. Yeah, I love this one. You can you can hold DSR, eight lenses, flash. It even has a compartment for your laptop. Um, so it's got the compartment you for know, your for laptop. You know, for a guy who has two Teslas, you're sure thrifty when it comes to photography gear. I am. Yeah. <laughs> if it gets the job done. The guy drives like an unbelievable Tesla Model X. He has another <laughs> Tesla, brand new. You know, for a guy that, that when it comes to cars, apparently hey. there is no budget. But for everything else, you're very thrifty if, when it if comes it to If it works, it works, right? You know? I know. I mean, that's where you got to spend it when you, like, I wouldn't be buying this. I just, but, but that's not my style. That's it's your my, style. It's my style. <laughs> it's my style. Anyway, you know? well, thank you guys. Now, next week, we're going to have some guests popping in, and we're going to get their gift ideas. So we're going to have um, Rick Salmon is going to be joining us with his gift ideas. We're going to try to talk Terry White. We got Scott and, Bourne. And Scott Bourne is also our in-studio guest. So we're going to have some people Skyping in. Scott Bourne is our guest. We've got some exciting news with Scott next week. So Scott Bourne from, he's in Olympus, Olympus, not a luminary, what is it? He uses Olympus. He uses Olympus, but he's like a big Olympus guy. Yeah, and he's also uh, he's president of Mac Fun. Mac Fun. Well, now it's called Skylum. Skylum. So he's yeah, going to be Skylum. here. Skylum, and he's going to be here next week, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's always fun. Yeah, so, absolutely. And we're going to get. It looks we'll get like some we're getting his, ready for the gym. We'll get some of his picks as well. So we'll have maybe we can get Terry in. I know we got Rick coming in. Scott yeah. Bourne's going to be in the studio. It's going to be a great show next week. I hope you'll check it in, absolutely. Mr. Kuna. Thank you for all, all of your right. great picks yeah. today and for Thanks. sharing your for me. your drone and. All your stuff. I'm telling you, this one, this one. I know. Twenty-seven dollars. Twenty-seven dollars. Two batteries and a charger. Wireless remote, twenty-eight bucks. There you go. Wireless remote, twenty-eight bucks. In backpack Pro that photo, holds everything in the world. Two thousand. That's a nice light, though. Yeah, but you know what? That backpack won't make pictures. That's true. Won't. Those batteries. Until you needed. Until you needed something that was in that backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. All we'll right. see you. Have see a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks to all of our crew here. I'm very thankful to have our crew here. We have a wonderful crew, and oh, I'm very absolutely. thankful that some of them got the day off today. And don't forget, cyber deals. Cyber deals. Go to kelbyone.com slash cyber or photoshopworld.com slash cyber. Best deal of the year. Best deal of the year. Period. Exclamation point.